Welcome back. Copper Mountain Assembly of God in Oro Valley is your one-stop shop for everything Christmas this That's season. That's right, it is. And we've got uh, Chris Puccini and Justin Skidmore here with us today. Thanks so much for coming out, guys. Yeah, thanks, thanks for having us. us. So tell us a little bit about the church first. So what's it all about? Well, Copper Mountain Assembly of God is a pretty new church in Oro Valley. We've been in our building for about, uh, oh, five, six years. And um, so we meet on Sunday mornings at 1030 a.m. And just a great, great church. We have a lot of wonderful churches in Oro Valley and Tucson, and Copper Mountain is just one of them. So That's wonderful. And, and about how many people attend, do you think, each week? About 100 people. That's not bad. Yeah. That's, that's wonderful. Yeah. And, and you, where did you say you were located? In Oro Valley. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. And, and you guys kind of gave us a breakdown of your titles a little bit during the break. So you're the pastor and you're the youth pastor. And right now we're kind of talking about the youth play. You've got this really awesome Christmas play that the youth has put on. Can, yeah. you, can you give us a breakdown of that? Well, we have uh, 17 kids ranging from 5 to 17, all of them uh, attenders of our church. And actually we have a few kids that are you know outside, some friends of ours that are coming in too. And we're really excited. It's... Um, it's a, it's a play about a, uh, a young playwright who has been writing, um, writing these plays about Christmas all these years, and she's, she's, she lives in her mom's attic, you know, like most writers do, you know, mm. <laughs> and she's, uh, she's just looking for some new way to tell the Christmas story with some excitement, with some, a different pizzazz or, or from a different angle, and she, um, you know, w with the, the characters that are, are in the, the, the traditional Christmas uh, you know, story. Uh, she she's trying to think of this new way to tell the story, and it's a really great play. It's, it gets really to the heart of the matter. And if you really want to see the end of it, you're just going to have to come out and see it. So Absolutely. I'm not going to tell you how it ends. I'm going to leave a little bit of a cliffhanger. That's good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's a good. But it's idea. a great play. We have some really good kids, um, and we're very excited to uh, have everybody out and come out out and join us. And Excellent. Well, I think it's an awesome opportunity for all the kids. I mean, starting them young. Absolutely. Yeah. The arts. I mean, the, I don't know that there's a lot of, you know, organizations, churches or not, who are, who are <clears throat> reaching out to the kids and saying, you can perform. You can be in front of people and you can tell a story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, we, and we have some kids that are in drama right now and they're, you know, obviously uh, very comfortable on stage and talking in front of people. And then we have uh, people who have never stood in front of anybody. And when we mic'd them up last week, they're, you know, they're just crazy excited to hear their voice over the, the, the speakers and stuff. So, yeah. so you're going to have a very um, wide range of acting experiences, which kind of, to me, gives it that home feeling. That, right, you know, all that, walks of life. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And um, let's get the dates and times, and then if there's any cost. Okay, uh, so there's no cost. It's free. Uh, Saturday, December 13th at 7 p.m. We'll have some uh, Christmas music beforehand. So um, come on out. We'll sing, you know, get you in the Christmas mood, too. And uh, we have the play, and we have some cookies and coffee after, and some good conversation with some great people. And then also Sunday, December 14th, which this Sunday at uh, 10 10:30. Uh, show up early if you want some cookies and coffees and the same good conversation. And then after that, we're going to have a chili cook-off and uh, some food, free food. So anybody who wants some free food, yeah. come on out and join us. We'd love to have you. We're cordially, cordially inviting everybody to come out and come hang out with us. Excellent. Uh, yeah. Especially what's my that? favorite four-letter word, free. <laughs> free. Yeah, there free. you go. <laughs> <laughs> chili cook-off. Oh my That's goodness. A well, I mean, I it's it. a wonderful. It's intense. Event. It is too. intense. The the, the cook-off. Oh, oh, I've like been. It's People are serious. honing my recipe all year, Ooh. and uh, yeah, so competitive. Excellent. And, and speaking, you know, Pastor Chris, you were yeah. talking about some stuff that um, people can do because this is the holiday season. So yeah. yes, we want them to come down. We want them to come down for the chili cook-off, learn about God, come see the play. But we also want to help those in need, right? Ex exactly. I mean, that's the spirit of Christmas. For God so loved the world that He gave His Son, and so we want to do that, especially as a faith community. And so one of the things that we're doing as a church is we're involved with a ministry called Prison Fellowship and their outreach arm called Angel Tree, which um, there, are, there are kids in our community that their parents are in prison and they're, they're kind of the victims uh, of, of crime. And so this season what we've done, we've adopted some, stu uh, some kids who their parents are incarcerated. We buy them presents and go and deliver those. So uh, people don't have to do that type of thing, but do something to share uh, the love of Christ and just be generous and compassionate. And so that's one of the things we're doing. We're also collecting blankets and uh, coats to give to the homeless through wow. one of our sister churches, Central City Assembly in inner city Tucson. And we work with them quite a bit. And so that's one of the things we do. It just encourage uh, people to do that this Christmas season and share 
Share the love of Christ. It's all about giving, right? Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, gentlemen, yeah. I want to thank you so much for your time today. It sounds like you have a lot of fun events going on at the yeah. church. Yeah. Thanks for having yeah, us. Thanks for having us. And if you and your kids want to take part in the holiday events at Copper Mountain, listed on your screen. For more information, you can call 797-2582 or log on to cmlife.org.